Hey guys, welcome back to the Soul Break. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Today I have a pair of sneakers that most of you probably haven't even heard of. Uh, this is the New Balance A27 in collaboration with Stray Rats, and the nickname for this model is Sewer Stompers. Uh, so I was able to cop a pair of these uh, earlier this year. I actually paid under retail because I had additional discount and I still thought it was a pair, cool pair of shoes. So I kept it in my collection for several months, but uh, I haven't worn them and I don't plan to wear them uh, in the future. So I just made the decision to let these go and kind of put that money toward buying another like grail shoe that I really want to uh, add to my collection. So let's just dive right into the shoe. Now, as the nickname of the shoe, Sewer Stompers, uh, suggests, this really resembles a, a perhaps a rat that you might find in, in a sewer, uh, given the overall colorway and the kind of the aesthetics uh, on the shoe. So this is a really crazy shoe, and just start, starting with the um, the side panels of the shoe. This entire uh, shoe is lined with this kind of really dark brown, uh, smooth suede all across the shoe. And this suede material is quite nice. It feels quite premium. Uh, I guess the uh, New Balance decided to use some nice materials. I mean, New Balance has never lets you down with, you know, in terms of the materials that they use, but this suede is really smooth to the touch. And then you've got this like darker, like a mocha brown kind of uh, mesh material uh, on the side panel, as well as in the uh, toe box area, as well as on the, the heel area. And moving towards the front of the shoe, you've got that kind of uh, uh, more of that suede, light brown suede mud guard on the toe box area. And then you got a small patch of that suede with the uh, new, the end for New Balance stitched into the uh, toe box in purple with like this uh, red outlining. Moving towards the top of the shoe, you've got these like rounded uh, red bright red laces, factory lace to the shoe. And then you get to see more of that uh, mesh material on the tongue of the shoe and on the eyelets you see more of that uh, brown suede all along the eyelets and then you have these uh, lace holders that actually have 3M reflective materials attached onto them. So this is a really, really uh, crazy shoe with a lot of small details that really kind of contribute toward creating that kind of sewer rat uh, type of vibe to the entire shoe. It almost f gives me the feeling that this shoe uh, is kind of dirty. Like, I, I don't mean it in a negative sense, you know. It, it really stays true to the uh, overall concept of the, of the collab, I believe. Uh, moving further towards the top, you actually see the tongue uh, constructed out of this mesh material. And then you got this kind of jade outlining stitched onto the tongue. And then you got that New Balance A27 uh, text kind of uh, stitched onto this tongue using this, uh, I guess it's like this really mesmerizing purple, like bluish purple uh, material on the tongue. And I think that's a cool detail as well. And on the side panel, I forgot to mention this uh, uh, New Balance N done in that kind of violet or purple color with more of that uh, uh, red outlining done in similar materials. And then also on the side panels, you see these small kind of uh, cutouts where you can see the, um, uh, the 3M reflective materials underneath. So when you turn the lights off and then kind of light this thing, light this thing up, it really flashes and it's a really, really cool visual that you get to see. And then moving towards the back of the shoe, you got more of that uh, suede material with some 3M towards the heel area and then towards the top of the, uh, the back you see the uh, kind of uh, the stray text done in the 3M material and the, and it's uh, printed on this kind of camo uh, type of fabric. And then you got kind of this uh, brown and green um, heel tab and I guess that's an extension of the kind of a camo pattern that you have here. On the inner side of the shoe, it's basically the same visual. And on the inside of the shoe, you got that uh, really uh, 
purple colored insole with the um, New Balance uh, Stray Rats text printed in red. And then inside you got this really, really nicely padded cushion with the dark mocha type of uh, sock liners. And this is really comfortable uh, and, and, and plush to the touch. So this, I guess this is supposed to provide you a lot of comfort when, when you wear them. And it also comes with an extra set of uh, brown laces to match with the entire shoe. And I think it would go, it goes quite well with the overall theme of that kind of like stray rats or sewer stomper kind of theme. But honestly, I think having, keeping this kind of red color uh, makes the shoe pop more. And I think that's a, a better design overall. Now moving on to the midsole, you got this kind of, ooh, like this midsole with these all these groovings uh, it, done in this kind of like uh, green, dark green color, olive green, I guess, color that reminds you of that kind of like the muck that you might find in sewers. So it, it's kind of gross, but I don't mean in a bad way. I think it's, once again, it's staying really true to its... Um, uh, uh, theme of the overall collab and this is the absorb uh, midsole that is uh, used on a lot of New Balance models and moving on to the outsole of the shoe you've got this uh, nice uh, sturdy uh, traction pads that you can find on a lot of New Balance models and then you got that New Balance text written uh, here in red and then in the middle part of the area you got this kind of plastic green type of uh, <clears throat> material in the middle of the outsole. And I think it's a really cool detail. Like the use of colors on this model is on point. It really, really uh, contributes towards the, you know, creating this entire sewer type of vibe to the entire shoe. I mean, I think, again, this shoe even really looks like a rat for some reason. I don't know. I guess New Balance did a really, really great job of, of you know, uh, putting this together. And then the other side of the shoe is basically the same deal. It's just that on this side, you've got that um, the rat's text done in 3M uh, on that camel once again. And so putting these together, you get that uh, the completed stray rat's text on the back of the shoe. So yeah, this is a really cool collab and I was really happy when I copped this pair. It's just that uh, since then I've had, I've bought so many uh, pairs of sneakers. So it's really time to kind of, you know, slim down my collection as much as possible. And I know uh, recently uh, a, 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 a grail shoe came on my radar for a pretty reasonable price. So, you know, I'm just trying to generate that extra cash. I mean, these are actually going for a premium. So I was like, well, you know, I'm going to miss this shoe, but you know, why not? I, if I'm not going to wear them, I might as well just put that money towards a shoe that I'm actually going to wear. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you have had been, had been in those situations where you had to make a, you know, the, uh, the smart decision. Wearability wise, I don't think, um, uh, this is an easy shoe to pull off, to be honest, but it, I mean, if you are a New Balance fan, you know that some New Balance collabs can get crazy. So if you're that kind of person, it, it, you, you might want to, you know, put these on when you want your outfit to pop. Uh, sizing wise, I'm not really sure because I've never tried on a pair of A27s, but with, uh, uh, Based on my experience with other New Balance models, I don't think going true to size would be a problem for anybody because New Balance shoes tend to run quite wide and big and really comfortable. So just going true to size would really not be a problem. Uh, once again, the, these are going for a premium. So if you want to cop them, I would say it wouldn't be too bad of an idea because the, the resale price isn't too crazy. It's just that I'm not really sure if this is an essential shoe that you want to have in your collection. I mean, if you're a huge New Balance collab fan or collector, this might be a nice cheap piece to put it, add to your collection, but it's really not an, an essential sneaker. 
So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna miss this model, but I have to do what I have to do. And I hope you really enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and I'll keep pushing more content really soon. Thanks for watching.